All right, guys, so I'm here with Jaron Kendall. He was a 2014, uh, 2013 Area Code Games participant for the Chicago White Sox. Jaron, thanks for being with us today. Tell us about um, what NIGU is and how you got involved with them. Um, well, it was started by, uh, or was it, it was brought up by a young girl named uh, Jessie Reese, and her motto was uh, never, ever give up, which is N-E-G-U. And um, we got involved with them actually at the Area Code Games. And we spent a day with the, with the kids of Nigu that were there. And we just watched different games that um, were playing that day and and uh, went in the cages, kind of hit around with them too, got on the field, let them throw a little bit, took a lot of pictures. And um, I don't know, we just got to know the kids a lot and got to hang out with them. I was rarely sitting down all day. And um, we actually stayed in touch with them uh, today. and. Just let them know how uh, we're doing and ask them how they're doing. You know, four months later after Area Games, we get a email from Nigu and they're ranting and raving about Jaron Kendall and uh, your involvement, your continued involvement with Nigu. Talk to us about what you had done um, with Nigu and Oscar and Isaac post Area Code Games in the last couple of months. Well, me and my mom, mostly my mom, has been uh, e or, uh, emailing them back and forth um, constantly. Just, um, just seeing what's up and Whoa. sending them different uh, gifts that we have. Um, and I actually sent them my uh, Hand the Ramirez cleats that I won at Area Code for Defensive Player of the Week. Um, they love those just because they love they're, they're Dodgers fans. So they, they love the cleats. And mom, so seeing your son's involvement with an organization like Nigu, it's got to make you proud. Um, talk to us a little bit about how that's been for you as the mom behind the scenes. Um, well, good. Yeah, they really touched us out there. Um, you know, Jaron being the Golden Glove winner was probably the highlight, but spending time with these kids and these families was really great. And they just touched us in a way that we just kept in touch with them. Um, we came back, um, sent them um, some gifts right away that, of some of the stuff that we got from there. And then it was Halloween, so we sent them Halloween packages. Um, then it was their birthdays and then Christmas. And um, in the meantime, Jaron had won a contest back here and won a, um, some money. And we donated all the money to Nigu and the family themselves. And so they each got over $300. Well, thank you, Kendall, for being with us here today. And uh, we'll be in touch in the near future. Jaron, I wish you the best of luck in your baseball endeavors. And uh, it's going to be an, an interesting spring for you, definitely. Yes, thank you.